Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. In this video, I will be unboxing and taking a quick look at the 5-pack Fast and Furious from Hot Wheels. This is something that I was very happy when I found it because if you collect Hot Wheels, you know that one of the most haves are the Fast and Furious cars. Let me focus the camera, there you go. But if you collect Hot Wheels, you also know that these cars usually go up in price a lot, especially the ones from the first movie, the second movie, and sometimes the third movie, right? Because those are the classic ones. Uh, some people might say that the third one is not really part of the classic ones because Toretto and Brian don't come out, even though Toretto comes out at the end, but it's, the movie is not really about them. And they were the most, um, well, the, the main characters, I would say, especially Brian O'Connor. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. But anyways, anyway, some people, they really like the third movie, so they also consider it as one of the good ones because after the fourth movie the fifth six seven eight nine ten and i don't know which one they are right now a lot of people kind of lost track of the movies but the first one and the second movie those are the classic ones and these are the cars that usually go up in value a lot once they sell out or once they are released because they are so hard to find uh, now this one is not from the premium package this is a standard five pack package that usually Hot Wheels uh, bundles to sell some of the cars. And this is what makes it so great. Now, you might be wondering, dude, unboxing, this thing is already open. What are you going to unbox? All right, let me explain what happened. Uh, we have one of those uh, robot shark vacuums, something like that, the ones that you have an app and then you can just control and it starts vacuuming uh, vacuuming and um, as I was recording that thing turned on and started vacuuming and I'm pretty sure my wife did it and <laughs> so what I had to do is grab that thing put it away and start the video all over again this is why this is basically already opened but anyways going back to to the main subject the Hot Wheels um Believe it or not, I actually found this at Macy's and I paid $6.25, which is amazing because this is basically the price of a premium Hot Wheels, just one single car. And this is a five pack. And even though this is not a premium package, the fact that it's Hot Wheels is, I mean, uh, Fast and Furious, it's good because that means we don't have to pay those crazy prices for these two cars which let's be honest these are the cars that we all really cared about from this package yeah it's good to have these ones as well this is from tokyo drift and i'm happy i have it but these two are the ones that everybody is chasing over so to find this five pack at this price basically a little over one dollar each is just an amazing find uh, actually you can find them on mercari and ebay this pack for like about nine dollars ten dollars so it's still a pretty good price and i suggest you grab them before they sell out and the prices start to go up a lot but anyways let's review the hot wheels the first one that we have is the famous toretto dominic toretto's 1970 Dodge Charger RT. This is the famous car that basically, actually, let me take them out of the box now. This is the car that he was running when he tried to cross the train tracks and ended up flipping. Um, it's a pretty nice car. What I like about this car is that it looks fancy classic but muscular at the same time if that even makes any sense and what i mean by that is the the body build of this car is really nice it has like a really nice classic style because obviously it's 1970 right so they all look like this i mean these cars look like this uh but at the same time this engine really makes it look powerful and i think this is one of the 
things that a lot of people were impressed when this movie came out. When uh, we saw this car in the big engine, we were just like, all right, <laughs> that's a little much. Uh, but it's not as much as what they do now in the movies, right? Going to space and all these things, like seriously. But anyways, this was one of the cars that everybody was very impressed by when the movie came out. When it goes like... <laughs> uh, anyways, so really nice car. This car has been released a couple of times and uh, there are a few things different. Things that we don't get in the premium package for example in the premium package you get the rubber tires in some of them in these ones you don't you get your standard plastic hot wheels wheels or tires so you don't get the rubber ones also there is a few changes in the paint work in the front and uh, i believe in the back as well uh, but overall it's still a nice car like it's something that i've been wanting to have in my collection for a long time so i'm happy that i got it at a very good price all right the second car that we have is one of everyone's favorite cars i'm gonna try to hold it so i don't drop them and this is brian o'connor's the fast and the furious toyota supra if you watch this movie, uh, you know this is actually not Brian's car. This is Toretto's car because Brian owed Toretto a 10-second car. So this is what he brought to him. It was all destroyed. They had to basically rebuild it from, not from scratch, but they, basically they had to rebuild everything. Uh, but once it was rebuilt, it was such a nice car. And it's one of the cars that everybody... Even if you're not a fan of um, Fast and Furious, mm, a lot of people know when they see this car. Oh, that's the car from that, the movie that, or the cars racing and stuff like that. So even if you're not a fan of Fast and Furious, a lot of people know where this car came out. It's a, such a nice car. Really, really nice car. Again, just like in the other one, we don't get the rubber tires because this is not the premium version. Uh, there is a couple of changes. For example, it doesn't have those things right here on the hood. Uh, I believe the lights, they also paint them in a slightly different way. And the back as well. Some of the premium versions, they have the lights painted. And in this one, they don't have it, right? Is This is the standard Hot Wheels release from Fast and Furious. And very 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 happy let's put them together right here man that scene where they race not race but they are just like running the cars trying to to pass the train tracks <laughs> i'm gonna have fun with these cars but anyways let's move on let's move on all right, the third card that we have right here, let me hold it in a way that I don't drop it. This is the car from the Fast, no, from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, that's what it's called, okay. Um, this is the car that basically, uh, what was his name, Sean? Sean, I think, something like that. That he's basically building with his father, um, at the end and this is the one from the final race I guess not the final final race like the after credits no actually yeah this is the one from the after credits as well so never mind but anyways this is such a nice this is a uh, as we see right here this is a uh, chrome but it has what I like is that it has the details on the of the car some some cars they don't have them anymore they don't make them like this. For example, this one right here, it doesn't have it. This is uh, Toretto's. It doesn't have it. This one does have it. And this is something that it's not so much a necessary detail because we don't really look at the bottom, but it's really nice. It's a, it's a nice to have, right? So beautiful, beautiful car. The front is not painted. 
uh, but it does have the the race stripes the back is not painted as well and on the side we have this stripe this is your classic mustang right really nice car um muscle car american muscle really nice i wonder if they have if they change the the rims for yeah they all have different rims all right so that's pretty cool uh, yep each car has different rims so these are the three cars that i care the most about this pack and not to make these other two cars less important or less valuable um but the ones that i really got super excited was these two and the tokyo drift one this is from the fourth movie this is the movie where uh letty apparently dies because she was trying to bring back dominic toretto this is from fast and furious uh, so the first movie it's called the fast and the furious and the fourth movie it's called fast and furious uh, so this is the car that if i'm if i remember correctly because i'm gonna be honest i haven't watched this movie in a while and this is the car that dominic drives if i remember correctly i might be mistaken but i'm pretty sure this is what it is so such a nice car this is again a 1970 chevelle so well not again but but it's also a 1970 because the first one is a charger 1970 charger and this is a chevelle it's such a nice car such a nice color what i like about cars that have a uh, matte finish this is kind of like a satin or satin finish sort of like matte finish but what i like is that it's not shiny right for example now this one is shiny because this is the actual paint in the movie it was a shiny car uh, but there are some cars that when they are shiny the light reflects a lot on them and when they have like a matte finish they look really nice because the light doesn't reflect as much and you can really pay attention to the details so there we have it beautiful car now this one does have the same rims as this one nope they are similar but they are not the same really nice really nice if you can touch or like paint the lights that really adds up a lot to the detail and the last one we have this is a austin martin 1963 vbs this is from fast and furious 6 and i'm gonna be straight up with you i don't remember this movie i think the fifth one is where they go to brazil the sixth one pff, <laughs> i don't remember it i know that i watched it i know that i watched it but i think i only watched it once the first fast and furious movies i watched it over and over and over but the new ones i think i only watch it like once and i'm just like all right i just wanted to see what the hype was about i wanted to see what crazy idea they came up with this time uh so i'll be honest i don't remember who drives this car i think it's brian if i remember correctly yeah i'm pretty sure it's brian unless i'm confusing it with another movie there is a movie called takers where uh paul walker rest in peace comes out and he drives a car like this or similar to this so maybe i might be confusing it with another movie but anyways this is a beautiful car just check this out really really nice car now this one unlike the other ones they painted the lights a little bit there you go beautiful classic car again the the paint is not too shiny so it really grabs the light well enough 
uh, the back is also painted. This is what I'm telling you guys. When they paint the lights in significant details that add a lot of um, look to the car, right? So if you have a couple of paint, just red dot, orange dot, and it just looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot nicer than, well, this one has the chrome piece. Let me see this one. So yeah, for example, right here with this Mustang, if you have a couple of red paint, if you have really good eye and a really thin brush, you can just paint the lights and it will add so much detail. Very small detail, but it really adds a lot to the cars. So this is it cars, this, I mean, this is it guys. This is the Fast and Furious 5-pack from Hot Wheels. We got from the third movie, the fourth movie, uh, the first movie, not the second movie, and not the, the fifth movie. They kind of like skip them or something. Let me move this a little bit. There you go. So, which one is your favorite? Obviously, to me, these two, my favorite, right? No questions asked those two and then i would choose this one or maybe the mustang i don't know it will be between these two right and then this would be it's also a really nice car beautiful car but i think i would choose either these two so really nice cars really nice value for what you pay six dollars for these cars is nothing nothing compared to what you would have to pay for them individually. So if you can find it, grab it, go for it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like it. And if you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. We have Godzilla right here and we have King Kong catching a plane. So thank you guys so much. Um, have a great day and have fun.